Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Animated Optimus Prime and this is from Takara Tomi so as always let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. The box is nothing anything spectacular over here so let's go ahead and uh, show you what you got. This is the vehicle mode over here. It is packaged in robot mode so that's why I have it starting at robot mode. There's a side, the little iconic Megatron versus Optimus, the hyper realistic uh, scene over here. As always, look at his little axe just get electric. And of course, the transformation, the little gimmick uh, weapon shoots out water, I guess. I'm not going to show you that. He can hide his little face over here, and I'll show you that as well. Um, light piping in the face, so pretty much standard gimmick. So here's a transformation, bottom of the box, uh, the, the animated show, yada, yada, yada. And let me go ahead, while I got all these figures over here, show you with a size comparison. There he is with Deluxe Megatron from the Generations line. And of course, well, not of course, but this is Sunstorm. So you can kind of get a gauge of him. Uh, I'll put Sunstorm right next to him here. So, uh, I mean, he is a, what do you call that? Voyager size class. So he's about the same size as a Voyager. Uh, seven inches. Uh, there he is with Megatron again. So yada yada yada. Let's go ahead and show you the little features over here. Of course, he's got his humongous battle axe. But one thing I don't like is his freaking elbows are weak, and he, usually that axe being so big tends to weaken that. He also comes with this little uh, gun over here. It does shoot water. Of course, I'm not going to fill it up with water. There's a little joints over there to fill that up. So, oops, bump the camera. All right, so let's show you this. It does come with light piping. I wish I had my little, what do you call that? My little flashlight, but I can't seem to find it. And he also has a little switch in the back over here that you can go ahead and just hit, and it lowers his little mask right there. What's up with his little goatee? I don't know, his flavor saver. Uh, you can kind of tell that his eyes are, they have the light piping. And look at the detail, the nose, the little baby blue underneath it, and the, you know, Paint, kind of a little paint issues with his, the yellow on there, but that's all right. Head does swivel, 360, but it's not on a ball joint. So let's go ahead and put his little mask right back up. Look at the light piping. All right, the shoulder, like I said, pretty weak shoulder joint right here, but it allows it to shrug. It does. You can rotate 360 degrees right here. A little bicep swivel, no problem. And as you can see, it has a nice little deeper red... I say metallic red finish as opposed to the matte finish that the American version had. And as you can see in the glass, a little etching, so the blue is kind of neat. No light piping, good detailing on the molding, but hey, it's very minimal molding here in the animated line. And that's what they use, uh, very spartan in that sense. A uh, single jointed elbow, All right. and the wrist just goes in and out, which I really don't like. I wish it was on a ball joint. But painting's kind of off, but oh well, nothing horrible. What can I say? Okay, what else we got? Waist swivel does go 360 degrees. Yeah, all right. And the hip joint is pretty darn good. It does go in and out, side to side. Not a ratchet joint, but it does move around. Very good. Very good on that sense. Okay, let's see what else we got. Single jointed knee. And it does kind of do a little swivel. And this is one of the things. Is looks like it, he's got these big, huge, not clown feet, but his like lower portion. The thighs are skinny in comparison to his calves and whatnot. You got toe, toe articulation and that's about it. And no real heel spur. So that's kind of primitive now that I think about it. I thought it was awesome back then, but hey, in three years time, you get to see, especially since the evolution of this uh, line. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Like I said, I like the bright red finish, metallic finish rather than the matte finish. Transformation is really easy. There's this little clip in the back over here. Just lower that down. We're going to start with his head. Basically rotate it 360 and put it down. There we go. And just clip that back on top. And there's a little notch over here where that tabs in. And there's a tab right here. And then just push that down. Really easy. The weak little shoulders go in the back right here. And of course, there's a little hinge right here. So it just hinges right straight down here. Then you can rotate this, and we're going to go ahead and put this little fist down in here. And see this little gauntlet here, as it actually acts like a cover, so just rotate it 90 degrees. And there's little tabs right here, and just tab it in. Same thing with the other side, and there's nice little tabs over here. So tab that in there, tab that one in there, and voila. Same thing with that fist. 
Wait, 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 wait. You don't, there we go. Just like that. <laughs> oh, and there's got little tabs right there. So I really like the amount of tabs that we have here. All right, so are we good on that one? Next thing we're going to do is rotate the waist 180 degrees. And there's a little ball joint or something like this, a little swoosh, uh, action, whatever. And just, just ratchet that up like that. And you got to be careful. You want to make sure that push this in right there. So it clicks right there. Beautiful. All right, we're doing good. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, it is kind of weird. You want definitely that to click in. Next thing we're going to do are the feet. We're going to turn around first. We're going to separate this right here on both sides. All right, legs, these wheels, first of all, we're just going to rotate it like that. They're on little springs, so all you have to do is rotate it 180 degrees. Good, good so far. I'm going to push that in. And then we can go ahead and tap the back right here and lower his low feet. Okay, looking good so far. Then these little pieces right here, just straighten them out. We're just going to go ahead and put one of them in like this. And I wish it actually kind of tabbed in there. There's a little tab to connect the other piece, but that's it. And just tab that, uh, lower that down and just tab it up right there. So look at that, he looks pretty fierce, but only thing is he looks kind of small for a Voyager. Uh, kind of got it a little crooked, but that's okay. Next thing we're going to do is going to form the back piece right here. Uh, so we're just going to fold it. It is actually going to wedge into the back of the cab over here. Oh, let me see before I do that. Go ahead and put the little cannon, water cannon right there. Just snaps right, snaps right in. Yeah, like that and as you can see it does have some swivel action so we got that it doesn't move too well oh and it has little notches over here that we're going to go ahead and merge with these notches right here and uh, just like that so there you go in a nutshell let me compare them with alternators because I'm a big fan of it so there we go with the alternator it looks a little squat, as you can see, compared to the alternator, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it looks, what can I say, not too bad looking. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you got a better view over here. Not bad. Yeah, not bad little truck. I mean, it rolls. So, let me give them, I forgot to rate them, 8, eight out of 8 for the robot mode. 8, eight out of 8. Simply because it's not that bad. It's not, I mean, I wish it had a few more gimmicks. Uh, it looks definitely imposing from that angle, but hey, what can you say? Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.